On Wednesday, a private funeral service will be held for family and friends of Mrs. Carter before she's laid to rest at the Carter family residence. Rosalind Carter was known for her dedication to service. Newswatch 16's Melissa Steininger explains how a nonprofit in Luzerne County is remembering the legacy the former first lady leaves behind. Hidden gems sit on the shelves of the Habitat for Humanity Restore in Nanticoke. You'll never know what you find here, and I say every day is like Christmas. The store on East Main Street is open to the public. There, people can shop for new and gently used home and construction items priced at a big discount. We get anything from box retail stores, contractors, homeowners, small businesses. It's all donated. Wall manager Joe Hartman has been with the ReStore for nearly eight years. He says people are still shocked to find the store exists in Luzerne County. A lot of people don't know really what we do, um, especially here at the ReStore. But a big name has helped spread the word about Habitat for Humanity for more than 35 years. So pleased to be with other people who just want to do something to help someone else. Former President Jimmy Carter and his wife, the late First Lady Rosalind Carter, partnered with Habitat for Humanity through the Carter Work Project to help build more than 4,000 homes in 14 different countries. The couple was a champion for the nonprofit. A lot of people are under the notion that Jimmy Carter had started this foundation, which is not true. He is actually a, a longtime volunteer after his presidency. For more than three decades, the former first couple got their hands hands dirty, along with thousands of Habitat volunteers and even the families who move into the homes. There are people out there that do need help and he was right up there, you know, uh, pitching in. From a presidential legacy to a small store shelf in Nanticoke, each little piece helps further the mission. But the most part of it is what we generate here stays in the community. Of building a future and a home for the people who otherwise couldn't afford it. Melissa Steininger, Newswatch 16, Luzerne County.